Mike Agabo is here now. And we, honestly, the guy from Bang & Olufsen has been here since 10.30. You just rolled in. I just woke up. <laughs> I'm so kidding. you have your own roadies now. I love yeah, bringing right. this um, Bang & Olufsen stuff in because it's just so it's very cool. Beautiful. They're kind of the high end as far as the stereo yeah. marketplace. And, you know, rightfully so. They design great stuff and, and the sound is brilliant So this as well. is a stereo. Yeah, so this is the BO Sound uh, 4. 4. Yes, and uh, it's a CD player. You just go like this. You don't even touch it. No, no, it's higher up. There you Check go. that out, huh? And it opens. It opens. So you can play CDs on here. You can also uh, play radio. And it's got an SD card slot as well, so you can uh, put your di digital music in. And uh, let's see if we can get play here. It's my, my theme song for my TV show. <laughs> So on the outside, uh, we've got some uh, BO three BO Lab three speakers, and these are uh, actually 250 watts a side. Wow! So I mean, there's pure power coming out of this. Oh yeah! So I mean, so you're... these are top of the line. These little half soccer balls you got here. But yes, yes, the sound is great, and they look like uber cool as well. So yeah, it looks fantastic, and the sound is really phenomenal. Um, and this whole system is about eight thousand dollars. Yes. Yeah, yeah. This is pure bachelor pad, isn't it? This, yeah, it is. This could yeah, be totally it's a black here. leather yeah. IKEA couch. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Okay. But uh, uber cool. And again, uh, if you're into stereo equipment, uh, Bang & Olufsen, again, is one of the, the, the top best. of the line. Yeah. Okay. And they've got also their little digital music players as well. So you can take the SD card out of here, stick it into uh, the little MP3 player as and, well. And that thing goes down, right? So you do the little... Yeah. So you do that and you... Automatically. It'll automatically go down. How do you get down? the CD in, though? Does so it if you hit higher? CD, yeah, it'll... Um, Go up a little higher. Oh, I see. Oh. How cool is but that? But even is that high enough? It will be. You, what else know. is up there? Yeah, what is up there? Just digital readout display here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, there's a digital readout display. Oh, okay. Kind of cool, eh? All right, cool. What cool. else do you have? Uh, this is kind of an interesting thing. It's, um, I don't know if you've heard of that program, One Laptop Per Child by Nicholas uh, Negroponte out of uh, MIT Labs. I, yeah. So cool. this has been going on for a few years. Uh, is and this a kid's laptop? Yeah. His goal was to create a really affordable laptop for third world countries yeah. so that every kid could have uh, access to a computer and an internet connection as well. So his goal has been to try to get it down to the $100 price range. Okay. Uh, but so it's kid. It's kid proof. <laughs> oh, I, I, can, I can do you stuff to it. Snap your fingers off. Yeah, but it's cool. It's tiny. Yeah, so they've actually gotten it down to $200. And the whole thing is if you Google this online one laptop per child, you can actually donate $200 and they'll send one of these laptops to a kid in a developing really? nation. Really? Yeah. Now, how are the laptops? Do they work? Well, the cool thing is that, I mean, these things have to be pretty indestructible, as yeah. you can imagine. Yeah. In a lot of these third world countries, they don't have great infrastructure. So this thing here, um, it's running a Linux operating system, but it's a graphical user interface. So it's got things like a word processor, internet browser, paint program, even a music program as well. So you can create your own songs and what have you. It's got a built-in web camera, so you can uh, snap this photos. This is just like any too. other laptop. Yeah, I mean, it's not as powerful as the ones that yeah, we might be still. using, but, uh, you know, for kids, it's uh, it's a great introduc introduction to getting into computing and, and also being connected. So tell us the website again that people can log on to One and laptop money. per child. One laptop per child, yeah. and they will donate it. Can people actually buy these laptops for their own kids? Uh, not that I'm aware of right now. Okay. It's more of a thing where you donate these uh, laptops. And these to. are what they send out. Exactly. True. So uh, I forget how many millions that they're, you know, kicking out uh, across mm -hmm. the world right now, but a lot of developing nations, they're buying big uh, batches of these for the, the schools and that and the cool thing again is it is internet connected so mm -hmm. um, you can have these kids up on the internet and, and taking advantage of all the, the learning that goes along with that. Are they well. putting in internet capabilities there though? Those that's up to the governments, I guess, of the you know the different countries. But uh, apparently, it's using a mesh network as well, so it's really easy. Once you've got one internet access point, these things all kind of connect with each other in the classroom as well. Right. So it's really easy to get up and going huh. as okay. well. So great. 200 bucks. That's great. And uh, Intel wonderful. and uh, a couple other folks also have a laptop that they're trying to come out with as well in that same price range. But it's kind of cool. So, uh, you know, yes. they've uh, got an AC adapter with it as well. And there's other little devices. You can get like a wind-up power thing to power okay. up the battery as well. Good job. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Cool stuff. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and, and, you know, who, what was the guy's name yeah, from Bang & Olsen? Because awesome. he did all your work. Troy. Troy. Troy Thank from you, Troy, Troy for coming in and doing that. He has been here for a couple hours. Yeah. Any more questions for Troy or for Mike, <laughs> you can contact uh, getconnectedtvshow.com. Thanks, Mike. Thank you.